Hello Hima friends and welcome to this new arming sword video. Today we are going to learn two ways to deal with pendenti, the down one attacks. Remember to like and subscribe if you end up liking the video and without further chats, let's start. So we will lay the basics of our defensive action in the underarm guard position. Many manuals either German or Italian choose this guard as the basic position to learn defending from simple attacks. From this position we have a pretty simple way to deal with the opponent's attacks, which is of course a parry and riposte action. The first parry and riposte action we are going to land is a parry and mandrito fendente. So, when the opponent is attacking, from our underarm position we strike a sotano-like motion an upward cut, meant to intercept the opponent cut. Don't bother too much watching at the precise angle of the cut. This particular cutting action is a parry, so the goal is parrying the opponent attack. So go for the main goal. After making contact with the opponent's sword, we simply rotate the hand, and uh, following a similar trajectory, we strike back with a mandrito fendente. Pretty simple and straightforward. While executing this action, you can also choose to parry with a full edge cut instead of the two edge one. This is mainly related to preferences and to personal defensive choices. The two edge parry, as we are going to see, has more repost options, while the full edge parry mainly strikes back with the cut. Ok, so the second defensive option is pretty similar in its execution to the first one. We parry with the two edge, with a sotano like motion as before. When we reach the ending position of our parry instead of cutting back, this time we strike a high right thrust. This specific thrust in Renaissance Italian fencing is called imbroccata. When we go for our imbroccata, we step toward the opponent. As soon as possible, we try to control the opponent's right arm with our left hand, to increase the chance to land our thrust. We can either grab the opponent's arm or also push the opponent's elbow to make him rotate. The choice is up to you. So guys, we are at the end of this video. Remember, if you want to help me in my goal to spread Hima around the world, check the link of my Patreon page in the video description. A huge amount of exclusive content awaits you. Thanks for watching and, uh, as always, see you next time.